Hey everyone, Matt here from CarWow. I've got another drag race for you. Now I'm sat in a Golf R. However, it has these rather lovely shifter paddles rather than the cheapo ones you get normally. And that's because it's a mount tune Golf R. So they've upgraded the ECU and fitted an induction kit. So this two litre turbocharged petrol engine now produces 360 horsepower and 500 Newton meters of torque. Next to me is an Audi RS3. So that's got a 2.5 litre five cylinder 400 horsepower and 480 newton meters of torque next to that for reference is a normal standard golf R. it has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine obviously like this one but it's got the normal 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque we've all got all-wheel drive we've all got launch control we've all got automatic gearboxes now the interesting thing is that the golf R costs 36 grand the audi rs3 costs 46 grand now you can actually save four grand off a golf r through carwow now the mount tune kit for the power, 1200 quid. So over 12 grand difference between this mount tune Golf R and that Audi RS3. So we're gonna see what happens in a drag race over a sunny quarter mile. Now, before we do that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon, otherwise you won't be alerted when we make a new upload and you don't wanna miss out. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I'm Matt Watson Cars. Anyway, let's do it. Drag race in the f***ing on. <laughs> by the normal golf R. And the RS3 did all right. It's neck and neck between me and the RS3 Kumar Mountain Golf. <laughs> That's the win. This is a quick car, quicker than an Audi RS3 in a drag race for quite a bit less money. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Mount Tune Golf R just managed to beat the standard Audi RS3 by a number plate. But both did the standing quarter mile in 12.7 seconds. The standard Golf R meanwhile took 13.4 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in comfort mode and in drive, like you're just tootling along on the motorway, then someone challenges you to a race. Obviously you decline, but not here. Three, two, one, go. This kick down, brilliant. And it's goodbye. That, <laughs> the RS3 is coming now. It's coming. No, it's not. That's it, calling it. This kick down quicker. I don't know why. Same gearbox. We need to check the in-gear performance to discount the whole kick down thing. So let's do another race. Okay, so we're going to do the same race again, rolling race from 50 miles an hour. I'm going to count it in, but this time we're going to be locked in third gear and the engines are in sports mode. Ready then, guys. Three, two, one, go. Now the RS3 is on it. Can I? Pulling back. Come on, can I? There's nothing in it. I'm kind of reeling him back in. Nah, never gonna pass him. That was very interesting that was. So the Audi seemed to respond quicker to the throttle when he floored it. And once he got ahead, that was it. He was not increasing its lead. And we could have gone on like that forever pretty much, but I wasn't gonna catch him. It won. Finally then, we're gonna do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the line, full emergency stop. See which car stops in the shortest distance. Now I should point out, this has had another upgrade. Brakes are grand. So let's see what difference that makes. Here comes the line. <laughs> well, they definitely make a difference. Out broke the Audi RS3 and definitely outbroke the normal Golf R. In fact, I could almost feel it through the pedal. It just seemed to bite a lot harder than I'm used to in this car. Nice brakes, good upgrade. I think overall that is a win 
for the Mountune Golf R, and it's certainly a win in terms of value for money. What an impressive upgrade. Sounds like a bit of a kind of sales plug, but it's not. It's just really good. <laughs> More excited. Ooh. I had to melt a Mowbray pie earlier. My fingers stink of it. Ugh.